Hello everyone, welcome to Maths with Mr. JN. Today I'm going to show you how to solve this exponential equation. It reads 2 raised to the power of 0 or raised to the power of 4 all over 2 raised to the power of 3 or raised to the power of 0 equals to 8 raised to the power of x minus 5. We start by saying solution 2 raised to the power of 0 or raised to the power of 4 all over 2 raised to the power of 3 or raised to the power of 0 is equal to 8 raised to the power of x minus 5. Then we continue. We can multiply the power in law of indices, meaning the numerator we change to 2 raised to the power of 0 times 4 gives us 0. All over 3, we multiply the power of the denominator, which is 2 raised to the power of 3 times 0, which gives us 0, equal to 8 raised to the power of x minus 5. Then in law of indices, n raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1, meaning if anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. We can equally do this. 2 raised to the power of 0 cancel 2 raised to the power of 0 will still give us 1, which is 1 equal to 8 raised to the power of x minus 5. Now we go back to this law of indices. If anything raised to the power of 0 is 1, meaning we have to make the two base equal, meaning 8 raised to the power of 0 we change to 1 at the left hand side, which is equal to 8 raised to the power of x minus 5. Now we compare the base. If we compare the base, base 8, we cancel base 8, left with 0 equals to x minus 5. Then when we collect the like terms, meaning this minus 5, we cross the sign of equality to meet 0, which will give us 0 plus 5 equals to x. Finally, x is equal to 5 which is the answer to check if your answer is true put x equals to 5 in the original equation which is 2 raised to the power of 0 or raised to the power of 4 all over 2 raised to the power of 3 or raised to the power of 0 which is equals to 8 raised to the power of 5 minus 5 in the left hand side, if we multiply the power of the numerator, we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 0 all over. When we multiply the power of the denominator, we have 2 raised to the power of 0 because when we say 3 times 0 gives us 0, which is equals to 8 raised to the power of 0. Any 10 raised to the power of 0 is 1, which is 1 over 1 equals to 1. 1 equal to 1. So our answer is correct. If this helped, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.